cuties and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a get ready with me. I can't remember when the last time was that I have done a get ready with me, but it was super long ago and October was such a crazy month for me. All I did was voiceover. So today we're going to be chatting, getting ready together. And I really wanted to do a fall look because now that we're in November, we can do all of these dark lips and bronzy eyes. And I'm super excited to create this look with you guys today. I really love the way it came out. And if you did too, don't forget to like this video and subscribe. And if you guys want to get ready with me today, super chill and just chit chat and catch up, then please keep on watching. So to start this look out, we are going to be priming, of course, and I'm using the Tarte Flawless Primer, and this is it right here. I love it so much, and I'm also going to be using the Clean Slate Timeless Primer. It kind of feels like a lotion or a moisturizer. It's very, very hydrating. And now I'm going to take the Tarte Timeless Primer, and this one is really, really cool. It kind of feels like a putty, almost. And I just like to put it right onto the areas that my pores kind of protrude and look really large. I've been kind of having that issue lately. I think it's from all the Halloween makeup. So I'm just gonna put this right here in this area only. So for foundation, I am gonna use the Marc Jacobs, I believe this is the Remarkable Foundation. And I wear the shade Ivory Medium. This is super full coverage, but it has a really, really nice matte finish. The only thing I don't like about this foundation is the fact that it's not a pump, that it kind of comes like this. It's really messy and I just prefer the pumps. That's the only thing I don't like about it. Other than that, this foundation is so good. Probably one of the best foundations that I have ever tried. For a while in October when I was doing my Halloween videos, my skin was freaking out from all of the Halloween makeup. I was getting a lot of pimples, a lot of really just like kind of like rash stuff going on in my face. And I'm so happy now that we can kind of get back into these fall looks because my skin was at its breaking point for Halloween. So now I'm just going in with some concealer. And by the way, I am using the Tarte Shape Tape and I'm using it in light and fair because I am a little bit paler. I usually let myself go back to my natural color in fall and winter. I am pretty pale naturally, but I normally self tan. A lot of you may not know this, but over October, the month of October, I turned 21 on October 24th. And it was really cool because I actually planned to go to Halloween Horror Nights in Orlando. And for those of you who have been on my channel for a while, you guys know how much I love Halloween Horror Nights and how much I love haunted houses and October and scary movies. So I was super stoked to go down there, although it wasn't as fun as I was hoping. I don't know. I was hoping I'd have a little bit of a better time. I ended up getting my first drink down there. I got a sangria. It really wasn't good. It actually tasted horrible, but I ended up stealing my dad's drink and he had a rum punch and it was so good but um th i mean the trip wasn't really that great I, I thought it would be a lot funner than what i was expecting to be honest with you but it was still nice to get away i was so exhausted from all of the halloween tutorials that i was like i cannot wait to go on this trip and kind of relax a little bit and just kind of have fun and now i am just powdering on my face i'm using my favorite powder this is the urban decay Ultra Definition Foundation Powder, and it's in Fair Neutral. I've been using this one for so long now. I love it. I've tried so many face powders, but this one is the only one that keeps my makeup on, I swear, all day long. It's so good, and it gives you like an airbrush finish, which is why I really, really love it. And I am a face powder fanatic. I will be doing a review of the new Benefit Fall Collection if you guys have me on Instagram. I got a huge box from Benefit recently. They sent me their new play sticks, which are foundation sticks. They sent me some concealer and they sent me a bunch of different powders and not all of them are my colors. So you guys will be getting a giveaway pretty soon with some of that stuff. But I'm going to be doing a review of that, a first impression, because I've never tried any of it. So I'm looking forward to it. I've been thinking about getting my brows tinted. My mom gets her lash extensions done in town locally and the woman there does uh, brow tinting and I've been wanting to get it done. I just don't really know how it looks. Have any of you guys gotten it done before? And if you have, let me know down below if you love it or if you hated it because I really want to get it because my brows are so light. They're just, they don't really match my hair. They're more like grayish. And I want them to be like the color that I fill in my brows with. This pencil I'm using is by Benefit and it is the precisely my brow pencil. I've used this pretty much all of October and every day. I've officially retired brow pomades after using this pencil. This pencil is amazing. This is in shade five. 
I do like these chatty videos. If you guys like them, please let me know down below. I have a lot of things planned out for this month. I want to do a couple of lookbooks that I have in mind. And of course, I'm going to be doing some creative style videos for some movies and things that I enjoy that you guys seem to like too. December is going to be really cool because I have a lot of holiday videos planned out. They're going to be so much fun. I'm so excited about Christmas. I cannot wait. I normally am not like a huge like Christmas person. Like I love Christmas, but I'm not like, I'm kind of bah humbug like every year, but like this year I'm actually kind of excited about it. And I think it's because I have all these ideas planned out for videos that I think you guys will really, really like. Especially if you like Christmas. I think you will love the videos that I have planned out. Now I'm going back in with a little bit of concealer and I'm cleaning up my brows. This is something that I do pretty much every time I do my brows. It just makes them look so good. And I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape to clean them up. All right, so set them. I am using the Ready Set Brow Gel by Benefit. This is a clear brow gel. And I swear this brow gel is like glue. Your eyebrows are not gonna move at all throughout the day. I can imagine if you have really thick brows, you need brow gel all the time. And if you tried this one, this is seriously the best brow gel that you could ever get. And I've tried so many, but I love this one. It's amazing. I love the brush on it. The way that it combs out your brows and makes them look so natural is just like awesome. And I love feathering out my brows and this will literally keep them feathered out all night. Like they won't move. All right, so now that we've got these brows done, our face is somewhat done. I'm gonna go in and do the eyes now, and I'm gonna zoom you guys in so you can see this fall eye look that we're gonna create. And then we'll jump back in and finish off the face. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is prime the lids with MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot, and we're just gonna prime, and this will ensure that all of our shadows stay on all day long. All right, so I'm going into the Natasha Denona palette. This is the green and blue palette, I believe. And I'm taking this shade right here. It's like an orange and I'm gonna pop this into the crease. I actually got this palette for my birthday. It's so expensive, but if it's a gift, that's another thing. And I actually really, really love it. And it's really, really beautiful, especially for fall. I really wanna buy the fall palette. It's new by Natasha Denona. It has like the most beautiful reddish shades in it. I'm dying for it. And I'm just blending this into the crease kind of in circular motions. I'm also gonna take that same shade and kind of bring this onto the lower lash line as well. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with a much darker brown. I'm gonna go in with this one right here and blend this right over the top of the orange. And I'm just concentrating this color right into the outer V of the eye only. I'm not really blending out too much. I'm also taking that color and bringing this down onto the lower lash line again. And I'm gonna take this beautiful gold right here and I'm gonna lay this right on top of the lid area. These shadows are amazing, especially this gold. Kind of reminds me a lot of the Makeup Geek shadows. Now I'm just taking a really, really light shimmery shade that's inside the palette. And I'm also gonna take this lighter shade right here that's matte and I'm gonna apply this onto the brow bone for a brow bone highlight. So now I'm going to apply the ColourPop Overboard Liner. This is a dark brown liner that has some gold flecks in it. And now we're gonna apply some mascara and false lashes. Today I'm using these beautiful Lily Lashes. They actually have brown tips on them, which I thought was really pretty for fall. And we're gonna be popping these on today. All right, and this is the fall finished eye look. All right, so now that we've got our eye makeup on, I really wanted to keep these eyes super warm and just kind of neutral because we're gonna be doing a very, very dark lip. We're gonna jump back into the face right now and I am using the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. I'm gonna be using the really grayish toned bronzer in here today because I am a little bit paler and I'm gonna be contouring with that. The cool thing about this palette now, I don't know if you guys know about this, but if you do love this palette, you can get the interchangeable palette online where you can actually get refills for these now. And I swear I had been through probably three of these Kat Von D Shade and Light palettes. I'm also gonna take it a little bit into the hairline up here. If you wanna really make your jawline look like super cut, 
you could take your bronzer and put it right underneath your jawline and make sure you drag it all the way back and your jaw will be popping. I'm taking a little bit of the lighter shade in the palette and I'm just putting that right underneath my contour. Now taking the same shade that I used to contour my face, I'm gonna contour my nose and I'm just using this on a very fluffy brush today. And now for the highlight, I'm gonna be using my Anastasia Sweets Glow Kit and I'm gonna take these two shades right here. This is Marshmallow, super pretty, and I'm gonna take Butterscotch and mix them together and just apply it to the top of the cheekbone area. And now I'm gonna highlight the nose. And for blush, I'm gonna use the Tarte Exposed Blush. This is a very nude blush. This will pretty much go with any makeup look that you could wear. I'm going to apply this on the backs of the cheeks and kind of bring it forward onto the apples. Now for the lip, we are going to be using the Ofra Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick in Queens. This is the most beautiful fall color ever, and I thought it would be perfect for this look. Alright, so now to set everything and make sure it doesn't go anywhere, I'm using the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray, and I like to spray a lot of this because it will keep it on all night long. This stuff is amazing. If you haven't tried it, this is one of the best setting sprays that you could get. And I go kind of crazy with it. So now I'm going to do my hair with you guys. You guys really are getting ready with me today. I am about to go to dinner with my parents, so I am going to blow dry and curl my hair and put my extensions in. All right, so now I am just curling my hair and I did clip in some extensions. I am wearing the Bellamy Bugatti set and these are the ones I wear all the time. I have two different colors. I'm wearing off black today and these are my favorite set of extensions by Bellamy. I do have a code with them if you are interested and it's Victoria Lynn and these extensions are so thick. There's a piece that I always clip in. It's the volumizer clip and I'll show you in a second. It's almost like half of a wig and it gives you so much volume and thickness and it's pretty much my favorite piece in the whole set. This is the volumizer piece right here and you see how thick it is? It's awesome. So all you do is you clip it right at the crown of your hair and it clips right in very securely and it gives you so much volume. You could also use this for ponytails, which I've used before that way. So basically in other news, I have been binge watching Grey's Anatomy. I started it, I think two weeks ago and I am on season two now. I'm halfway through it and it's my favorite show right now. I love it. There's something about it that's so addicting. I at least watch like three episodes every night. And of course, The Walking Dead. I mean, the new season is crazy. I could not believe the episode, the first episode of season seven with Negan and like everything that happened. And I did that um, Halloween tutorial on him before I knew what was gonna happen on the episode. And you could not bring me to do that if I had seen that episode before I did that tutorial. That was brutal. It was so sad. I definitely was messed up from that episode for probably a few days because it was so sad and I just couldn't get over it. And like I said, you probably couldn't bring me to do that tutorial after I saw that episode because it was just so bad. All right, so I finished my hair and this is the final fall look. I hope you guys enjoyed this get ready with me. It was really nice to just sit down and relax and talk to you guys and catch up because we haven't in so long. And I love the way this makeup look came out because it is perfect for fall. So if you like it too, don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you haven't yet. I will see you all in my next tutorial.